I stand on launch, <coughs> feeling the wind come up and down, up and down. I'm waiting. My wingmen are holding my wings still, waiting for the wind to settle. It does. And I pull my nose down. And with one, two, three steps, I slide down the hill as fast as I can. I'm blown into the air. It pulls me up off the ground, higher and higher. I'm going faster and faster. I let my nose up slow down, I'm gaining, I'm already over the place that I launched from. I pull down, roll over to the side, kick my nose out and enter a steep turn, 60 degrees, pull two, geez, it's very, very proud of you to hear you from playing people out. 60 degrees and we're gaining, we're in the very center of the thermal. We are taking off into the heavens. This is the most wonderful thing ever. I am flying, I am flying, and I am flying, and then I look down below me, and right down below me, so close that I could touch him. There he is, most marvelous of creatures. Completely out of the blue, I see an eagle not four feet below, turning in the thermal with me, so close I can almost touch him. You don't touch me, I rip your face off, got that? Such a magnificent bird, so regal and bearing, so noble, and he chose to come and fly <laughs> with me. The only reason I'm here is because this is where the lift is. I'm not joining you, your little tete-a-tete in the air. So sleek, so beautiful, so strong. He flew so effortlessly, like he was born with wings. Of course I fly like I was born with wings. I was born with wings. Catch beneath his eyes. Now, as for you, you big, ugly, awkward, smelly fowl, I'm trying to get such altitude, some altitude, so I can scout for prey if you get out of my way. I'd like to pass. <laughs> he stared at me out of the side of the head like birds do, keeping pace with me, turn for turn, four feet below me, never more, never less. He had perfect control of his flight. While I struggled to keep my flight centered in the middle of the firm. Speaking of wingtips, you got any money? Because you look like shit. <laughs> You're just flopping around all over the sky. Where did you learn to flop? I was in awe of his talent and skill. I felt him a kindred spirit, the two of us alone in the vast sky, sharing a moment of God's grace in this thermal, just the two of us. I'm not your kindred spirit, you stupid, hippie, beatnik, stoner, big bird. I'm a raptor and I'm hunting for dinner. Now get out of the way so I can concentrate. The two of us wingtip to wingtip, dancing on the sky, feeling the wind beneath our wings and our faces fresh and clean, together turning a thermal for what seemed like hours in perfect harmony with the sky and with each other. This is such bullshit. I think it was like five minutes. You are not my brother in the sky. You are so self-absorbed. You don't have to work for a living, do you? What are you, Polly? Did you just come up here in the sky to screw around? Well, some of us have to go to work. I got to put some food in the nest. What's wrong with you? You can't fly for shit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, your wings? He just stole them off of somebody, didn't you? You're not a bird. Cultural appropriation, people. Cultural appropriation at its worst. And he gave a wild screech and was gone. He did not fly away. He did not fold his wings and dive. He simply wasn't 